Yo, how's it going everyone? GBG here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, well basically giving you guys a mission in which I'm going to be trying to do it in midnight mode. So midnight mode is basically when you complete the story and then every single one of these like little public orders that you usually get has a boss in it. Like all the craziest bosses you can possibly think of that the game offered you during your playtime. And they have a lot more health, a lot more damage, a lot more damage, and they're just on crack. So I'm not really going to do that right now. I'm going to be doing a mission in midnight mode, which is basically the same, but just the, the story missions that we did before. Uh, hopefully not too long, but I'm going to show you guys my build as well. Doing so you guys well. can copy and do as you please if you want. This game does require focus. There you go. This is my sword. Sub weapon. armors and accessories items oh thank god I can we'll change that right now before I go into the mission obviously damage and uh, key damage received reduced and then photography stuff that you don't care about and obviously your elemental stuff so poison fire electricity and then uh, let me put this one in case I get any kind of ailment alright that's it Enjoy, man. Let's go into the mission. Oh, my God. 
Don't rush. Take your time. Is that all? I wonder how you use it. I wonder how you use it. Thanks for your patronage. There's someone there. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Alright, before you head out, I would like to teach you something really cool. So make sure you have the following stasis equipped. So this will be your Mio Ryu and Tatsumi Ryu. So your other style that I want you guys to equip will be Tatsumi Ryu. This is my favorite stance. This one along GK Ryu. Those two are really awesome. And now Neo Ryu, I came across it and I was just like, to be honest, you unlock it pretty early in the game. It's just that you don't have all the skills because you need to visit all the shrines. So make sure you visit them shrines, man, because this stance is pretty broken because you learn some moves that you're not intended to do. And that being this one. You feel me? That is Divine Wreck. Divine Wreck looks like this. But with Neo Ryu, you skip the entire first animation and you go straight into the judgment cut which is the multiple hits you know and that's the heavy one as well which mean which means you're dealing more damage now let me explain how it works so in order for you to do this you're gonna need to of course have neo ryu unlocked and you're gonna need to be in the low stance of neo ryu which probably means by the way that there is more text out there that i haven't yet figured out that I will be obviously exploring in the, in the future, of course. But for the time being, I just want to teach you this one, specific one, okay? But anyway, um, how do you do this? You go onto Neo Ryu, you do a specific attack. Doesn't matter what it is, could be, could even be this. You go straight down and then you go straight into it. But it's hard, that version, okay? But if you're already in, in low stance, if you're already in low stance, all you have to do is press square once. Okay, key pulse. And there's a timing to this, okay? You can't key pulse and then do it right away because that will come out. But you have to do key pulse, wait, and then do it. That's how it works, okay? Let me try and get it right to the timing because it's pretty tricky. Like I said, it's very tricky. It's not easy. I can do it better when I'm in a, when I'm in a battle. 
for some reason I know how to do it in the battle. When I'm just demonstrating, it's actually pretty hard too. Because there's like this weird timing. Like when I'm in battle, it just feels feels it feels right. Like I know when to activate it. There you go. Like so. So how you do it is do it an attack whilst you're in low stance in your Ryu. Immediately, not immediately actually, do an attack, key pulse, and then before that key pulse ends, you're gonna want to switch uh, stance to Tatsumi Ryu. Included, uh, followed by the X button, okay, at the same time. So you're changing, you're pressing and holding R1, change stance to Tatsumi Ryu, and then press X all at the same time, okay. So here we go, we do this, hold R1 straight away to key pulse, and then change stance to Tatsumi Ryu before that key pulse disappears straight into X, okay. So boom, Jesus. Should be easy enough when you get the timing right. When you know the timing right, it is easy. You know, like I said, I can do it better in battle. It feels for some reason I can just perform it flawlessly in battle. But when I'm not in battle, it just doesn't feel right. I uploaded a video the other day, like maybe two days ago now. That's passed. But if you saw that video, then you know exactly that I wasn't messing it up when I was doing it. And you can go into this, by the way, flowing shadow into it, like you see. Like, when you're doing it in combat, it just feels better. It feels way better than just doing it against the air. So, yeah, that's literally how you do it. So you press square. Let me repeat that one more time. Press square whilst you're in low stance in Neo Ryu. Followed by key pulsing. And before the key pulse disappears, because there is timing to this, you got to wait and then go straight into R1. Down on your right D-pad. I mean, right analog stick to Tatsumi Ryu. And then X all at the same time so after the key pulse boom all at the same time the analog stick must go down the x must be pressed and so is r1 being held down as well okay so boom straight bam easy i hope you guys enjoyed that one there is more by the way like the flowing swallow of uh ryu there's things like skipping the animation completely where you have to charge the uh butterfly attack for the um what do you call it for the hayabusa ultimate brilliant flower like you don't have to so this animation you don't have to do it at all it goes straight into it there's so many more like i'm gonna let you guys explore this one though i don't want you guys to be lazy and then not like lose your enthusiast enthusiasm by just you know, relying on me to figure out everything for you guys. Go ahead and try out a few things with this. I'm sh sharing my text with you because I know you guys have been asking for this one. So I don't want to wait, make you guys wait any longer because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do, uh, release that tutorial because I'm too busy learning the combat myself and just enjoying the game itself. I want to enjoy myself before I put in the excessive amount of text out there straight away, okay? But for the time being, this is your this is the fan favorite. Everybody loves this one. So there you go. There you have it. You now know it. Go ahead and practice. If you can't get it right, message me on, on the comments. Let me know, like, what are you doing wrong? What are you pressing? And I'll just try and help you out. Like, you know, I'm really good at commenting, uh, replying back. So I'll see you guys in the comments, man. Thank you so much for watching this video, by the way. And also, before I forget, let me show you my drip because everyone's asking it as well. All right. See you soon. My drip is the following for the headgear i'm wearing the old bamboo casa you can remove this if you don't want it and you can see the gear properly torso i don't even know what the hell i'm wearing okay there you go seki hotai officer's attire so that's the like the, the little grill bit all right and then underwear i'm wearing like the rebels garb undergarment okay bottom i'm wearing mavericks uniform trousers hakama all right and then belts i'm wearing the flying squirrel ninja garb you could probably change this belt to make it appealing to you like the red one also looks pretty hard you feel me actually no it doesn't oh i wish i could go back what was i wearing again this one wait was it that one flying squirrel ninja garb yeah that's one and then <laughs> don't want to change it because it looks too clean Ooh. But nah, the other one looks way better. Edoit fusion clothes, short haori. Yeah, this this is the drip, man. This this right here, damn. 
And then for arm piece, I'm wearing Veiled Edges Gauntlet. Am I? No, I'm not. No, I'm freaking not. That's a lie. What am I wearing? Nothing. No, I'm not wearing anything for my arm piece, boys. And then Shinobi socks. Sandals. Accessory. I don't think I'm wearing anything. Of course not. Yeah, that's just too much. This doesn't look too bad, but I prefer it without. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, nah. You don't want any of that. And uh, yeah, that's it. And then as for my accessory, uh, I mean my weapon, trans trans transmogrification or something. Or just transmog. It's cursed blade Muramasa. And for my paired uh, paired weapons, paired swords is Izumi no Kami. Izumi no Kami. Horikawa. This is like a shogunate guy. I can show you in a second. Um, it's his blades. They got like the chains and they look pretty dope. Alright. That's it. It'll be... This guy. Yeah, this guy. He has the blades. Alright. Toshizo. Is it Toshizo? Let me just make sure it is him. Don't want to be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is him though. Yeah, it is him. It's that guy, it's Toshizo. Because his bond is like level 4 almost, so it makes sense. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.